And I'm really hoping that this visit, as a follow-up also to the visit that I made to Israel in the earlier part of this year, is going to begin a new stint of very close collaboration between Kenya and Israel, and indeed a reopening of uh, the ties, and the very strong ties that Israel had with the African continent as a whole in the early 60s. And this is where we really all wish and desire you know, to move to. So I think this particular visit of yours, giving us an opportunity to discuss a wide range of issues, you know, from security to economic cooperation to diplomatic cooperation and partnership, really should set us off on a new tangent of, 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 of close partnership. And I was very encouraged myself with the opening remarks that you made yesterday, where you said that Israel has taken a clear and firm decision to re-engage the African continent uh, once again and to strongly partner with Africa going forward and uh, I do hope that Kenya will be instrumental in that particular uh, uh, move uh, based on um, common and shared values that uh, our two nations, our two peoples have. So uh, mine is really just to welcome you, like you say we're happy to have you and uh, we're looking forward to strengthening the partnership between our two countries as we, as we move forward. Welcome, Prime Minister. We're launching in a big way uh, our mutual relationship, the relationship uh, between Kenya and Israel, and through it, in many ways, uh, the relationship between Israel and Africa. Uh, I started this morning in a very moving ceremony um, at the grave of your late father. Um, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I saw it there. We know it in Hebrew, obviously. Um, there's a bond, it's strong. And uh, Kenya was our, it is our greatest partner uh, in Africa. You rightly said that uh, at the time of great distress, uh, in the aftermath of the uh, operation in uh, Entebbe Airport, our planes needed to land somewhere, and Kenya was there. Um, we appreciate it, we remember it. Uh, more than that, we see ourselves engaged in um, a common desire to seize a common future and fight the forces that are trying to drag us into a dark past. And this means that we want to cooperate with you on development on the one side and on security on the other side. We have, as a result of our history, developed um, certain capabilities. We've overcome uh, almost 100 years of bouts of terrorism and have developed uh, certain capacities in this regard. Uh, we discussed and will continue to discuss the ways that we can cooperate in security matters to assist you uh, and we believe assist us in the battle against these enemies of our civilization. Uh, at the same time, we brought here, I think, some 70, 80 business leaders, uh, 80 business leaders, uh, and I think we're going to meet them jointly together, and I want to tell them something very simple. Invest in Kenya. <laughs> That's it. Invest in Kenya. Uh, because I think it's a good investment. Uh, and I think that we should promote as much as we can a private sector, even though we are also trying to create uh, the nucleus of uh, uh, governmental money, which is always squeezed, as you know, but trying to expand it through other governments and other institutions. But the biggest success we'll have will be to get private companies involved in Kenya's economy and maybe also in Kenya's security. Uh, this is something that we have found is useful in Israel, and we have some possibilities for both. Uh, finally, I want to say that uh, uh, President Kenyatta has been exceptionally resourceful and creative uh, in this historic meeting that we had yesterday with the seven leaders from African countries and myself. 
to see how Israel can come back also to the multinational form, the uh, African unity. Uh, and we set our sights over time to reset Israel as an observer. And we'd like to be more than an observer, we'd like to be a player uh, in Africa's future, which we believe in.